are preparing a violent overthrow sometime in November, October. Now, why do you think the communists are suddenly uncloaking themselves? Because after growing under the floorboards, they want to look like a legitimate government when they take over and when they call for the racial war and when they call for the uprising. This is, this is a playbook, and it's from them. They're, they're saying this is happening, and they're being allowed to prepare and gear up for it. What will it be in a month? What will it be in just a few weeks? What will it be? It snuck up on us, hasn't it? It's the October Revolution that stretched into November and December. It's the 100-year anniversary of the Bolshevik Revolution. We're here. It's happening now. This is real. What are you going to do about it? It's the big question you've got to ask yourself. Because they mean business. We have to hold our fire. But we have to be prepared and know they're coming over the line. And we've got to be on target and ready. And everybody's got to start packing. Because when they strike, it'll be like fire ants where they crawl up over your legs. When they get in place, one of them that's leading, and it's all genetically engineered, you know, by Mother Nature that way, stings you, releases a pheromone, and all the others sting. Once they get in place, they communicate by pheromones. And it's the same thing. They get all over you, they get in place, and it's going to be, boom, you wake up one morning and 300 cops are dead. You wake up and talk show host and members of Congress are wiped out. Trump Towers from Chicago to New York are on fire. So the police don't think they can respond. But there'll be something that happens right before that. A mass shooting at a school, a bombing of a federal building, maybe more, pinned on a right-wing patsy who's a listener of this show. That's why they're putting us all over the news and putting us on Comedy Central with all their drooling viewers to go, here's the bad guy, here's the terrorist, get ready for this. When it all happens, it's his fault. He made his followers do it. So they false flag... And they'll blame Alex Jones and Donald Trump and Matt Drudge and Rush Limbaugh. And even a lot of other conservative talk show hosts will kind of halfway get, go along with it because they'll think, oh, my competition's about to get shut down. No, idiot, you're about to get shut down. Bolshevik style. Because that's how it worked. The Bolshevik said, we've just seized Moscow. But if you turn in your guns and work with us as some of the other political parties, we'll let you rule with us. And just help us get the white Russians. Just help us get the Christian Russians. Just help us get the pro-Czarist. Just help us get that one group. And then you're going to be fine. And then they just killed people with each new group of moron traitors that lowered the drawbridge. So we're here. And I'm sure of it that this whole NFL thing was the activation of this. And my sources uh, concur with that. It's not gone well for them. So, if there's a big terror attack that they blame on patriots or Christians or conservatives or you know, independent media, that's what they want to shut down, not if, when, you'll have two or three days of them hyping it to get people to a fever pitch so they can make it look like it was organic. But by the second or third night, you've got to be, if you want to stop these folks, you've got to be basically eyes and ears, and they're going to hit at night. They're going to start at about 10 o'clock at night. You got to be waiting on them two to three days after. I don't think they're going to change their operation. This is too tried and true. You got to be waiting for them, ladies and gentlemen, because they're going to try to overwhelm the police forces in cities they don't control first. And they're going to lay them out. They may also do it in cities they control because they know the police chief will be involved in it and will order basically a stand down. So they're going to make their move. That's where everybody's on edge. And we've really tried to fix this as peacefully as we can. And 
If the attorney general, who's completely surrounded, I know, doesn't move on these forces, you need to understand the Antifa idiots are just going to be the cover for the squads and some of the other specialized groups that they're going to be using to decapitate and they think intimidate and confuse patriot government. But you better believe they're going to try to kill conservative Supreme Court justices. You better believe they're going to try to kill Judge Roy Moore, people like that. I mean, it's, it's folks need to know, they're coming for you. They're coming for you October is only a few days away. They're saying their operation launches November 4th. That's probably a diversion. I think the attack's coming in the middle of October. That's just looking at all the pieces. I'd say look for middle of October, but first look for a new Charlottesville much bigger or a group of Charlottesville. That's going to be the cover for the detonation. What the aging process is, is when the cell replicates, we lose a little bit of our telomeres. Telomeres are the little cups on the end of our chromosomes. Basically. And when it runs that out, you start dying. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com.